adore the Holy Spirit. Let's adore the Lord. Father God, we want to say thank you. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. We give you the adoration. Lord, we want to say thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Spirit of power, spirit of revelation, spirit of wisdom, spirit of counsel, spirit of the fear of God. You are welcome in our midst this morning. Lord, we thank you for without the spirit of God, we are nothing. When you take your spirit from us, oh God, we become like a grass which was here and no more. This morning we adore you. We want to say thank you, Lord, for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank Thank you, Lord, for the spirit that sanctifies and purifies us. Lord, we give you the honor and adoration. Receive our thank offering this morning. For Lord, you are the Holy One of Israel. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's give God a clap offering. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. What a wonderful song. Uh, thank you. Greetings in the name of Jesus. We want to welcome our borderless church. The church without walls. Hallelujah. I like when God spoke to the angel. He said, go tell that young man. Stop measuring my church. Run. Go tell the young man to stop measuring my church. My church is, can't be measured. It's big. It can't be measured. So it's exactly what is happening. The angel was stopped to measure the Lord's house. Because now I'm preaching right in your bedroom. If you're in your bathroom, you are taking your phone and preaching to you right in your bathroom. So you can see what a borderless church. So the church that without walls, you are welcome today. Uh, uh, the one in the sanctuary this morning, you are welcome. All our friends uh, who logged in, you are welcome. All our branches, uh, UK family, you are welcome. Australia, US and all other countries in our beautiful continent, the Ghana, Ghanas, you are welcome, hallelujah. We want to thank God. We had a wonderful service, women's conference today. It's the third day, it's the day of resurrection, hallelujah. We are going to thank God with a song that day they've just shared to us, it's a powerful one. It talks about the Holy Spirit. Throughout this conference we said the beauty of a woman is holiness. The beauty of a woman is holiness. So happy Women's Day. Our beauty is seen in holiness. I just want to read the scripture and then we'll be praying. Uh, if you read the book of Psalms of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 15, uh, the, the, the Psalms of Solomon, uh, here we are talking about Christ and his church. So the, the, the analogy that has been used is a love between a, a, a Christ and his church. Uh, Songs of Solomon chapter 1 verse 15, uh, Christ, says, Christ is saying to us, to women, to his church, Behold, you are my fair, you are my love. Behold, you are fair, you have dove's eyes. Wow. Christ says, I love your eyes. You've got dove's eyes. Listen to the uh, same scripture, chapter 6, verse 9. Jesus Christ says, my dove, wow, my perfect one, is the only one, the only one of her mother, the favorite one who, who bore her. The daughter saw her and called her blessed, the queens and the concubines, and they praised her. So we are separate for Christ. We are separate. We, we, Paul, when he speaks, I love it. He says, you know what? I'm presenting you as a chaste virgin to Jesus Christ. In the book of 2 Corinthians 11, 12, he says, we are betrothed to one husband and present you as a chaste, has, a, a chaste virgin. So God wants us to walk in holiness. He doesn't want us to, to, to adulterate with other men adulterate with idols adulterate with other false worships adulterate with money adulterate with any other even adulterate with your own children because you can live love your children more than god so he says you know what i have betrothed you to one husband and presented you as a chaste virgin so we are the holy one he says you are my perfect one you are my only one and then i, I love it when he talks about the dove's eyes 
we are told that uh, the dove's eyes has got a focal point. You know, that the dove cannot watch like a chameleon. A chameleon can watch this way, that, 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 that. But a dove has got a focal point. So Christ is saying, my love, my perfect one, please just look at me. Don't look at other things. Just concentrate on me. He says, I love your eyes. They are like a, a, a dove. He says, you are my perfect one. How come we are perfect? We are perfect because we have been washed by the blood of Jesus. How come we are perfect? We are perfect because we have been clothed in righteousness. How come we are perfect? We are perfect because we have been sanctified by grace and the Holy Spirit. He sanctifies us and puts us aside. How come that we are perfect? We are perfect because we've been adorned. We've been decorated. We've been de uh, clothed with the beauty of holiness. We have been clothed with the doctrine of the word of God. So I want us to just thank God that we are his perfect one. And then how come we are perfect? We are perfect because we are, without him, we are helpless. He is our only strength. You know, women are, are, are helpless. If you read uh, the, 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 uh, Ephesians 6, 10, it will be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. So as women, we say, we stand strong. We are helpless. Without Christ, we are helpless. We stand strong by the power of his might. We cannot do anything without him. So we just want to thank God for a wonderful conference that we had. We are continuing. Today is the last day. To, uh, today is the day of whomsoever. I love it. I, I, if you missed your blessing on day one, you miss your blessing on day two, you, today is, you, you can't miss it. So we are going to thank God for Apostle Vincent, our prophet, the father in the house. He'll be ministering to us. He'll be talking mysteries, re revealing things to us. And we are going to thank God for the perfect uh, conference we had. We are going to read the following scriptures as we continue with thanksgiving. We don't want to be like a, a leper, nine lepers who never returned to give God the glory. Only one returned. So we are returning this morning. If you read the book of Jeremiah 30 verse 19, the word of God says, Then out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of those who make merry. I will multiply them, and they shall not diminish I will glorify them, and they shall not be small. So do you see that if we return with thanksgiving, God is going to bless us. He will multiply us. He will perfect us. He will grant the things that we desire. So we are returning this morning with thanksgiving. And Hosea 6 verse 3, actually from verse 2 says, if we return on the first day, when we return, he will restore us. So when you are returning, it's a time of restoration. It's a time of healing. And then it, after two days, he will revive us. On the third day, he will rise up that we may live in his sight. So today, it's a day of resurrection. Hallelujah. I, I, I love the scripture, the following scripture. Our graves are open. We are not going to pick up the moods back. We are not going to pick up thieving back. We are not going to keep pick up lying back we are not going to keep uh, pick up whatever that we have left laziness slothfulness we are not picking them up moodiness uh, we are not picking them up listen to ezekiel 37 verse 5 that says the lord god unto these bones behold i will call you uh, i will cause i'm sorry behold i will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live so i prophesied as i was commanded and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and bones came together, bone to bone. Uh, bones came together to his bone. Then he said unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon the slain, that they may live. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, that says the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. So we're going to thank God that, Lord, our graves have been opened. Today we are coming out. Today we are coming out. We are not going to pick up sickness again. 
as apostle will be declaring that you are healed, you are not picking up that sickness again. So our prayer points are read, are read as follows. Father, thank you for the glorious presence in our midst since the beginning of this conference. God has been gloriously with us. We have returned in thanksgiving. This morning we are returning with thanksgiving and adoration of your name for the great works you have done. Thank you, Father, for this day, this third day, for the power of resurrection has come to revive us, has come to renew and to restore fruitfulness upon the church and our families. May our rod bud blossom and flourish in the season and beyond. We decree that as your word is ministered today, the breath of the Holy Spirit will cause every dry bone to come alive and every spiritual and physical barrenness will be destroyed today in the name of Jesus. We pray for the conception of new dreams and visions. Remember, Apostle has been challenging us that we have to dream again. We have to beat Corona. The things that God has placed in our hearts, we are praying that Lord revive them again. Those beautiful ideas, the visions, the dreams, and we declare healing of every family relationship, relationships and financial restoration. We decree that everything that is dead and lost in the church is being resurrected. The passion for souls, if you've been not even interested to share the gospel to your family, to your neighbors, to your colleagues, today the passion for souls is being resurrected. Forceful evangelism is resurrected. Prophetic word that will heal our soul is in the name of Jesus. Let's just thank God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to say thank you. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. Lord, great is your faithfulness. Indeed, we have a glorious three days conference. We've seen your presence. We've seen your children. You touch them, oh God. They sacrifice with their data. They sacrifice with their time. For that, oh God, we say thank you. Lord, we have come to return the glory to you. We do not want to be like the nine, nine lepers who never return to say thank you. Lord, as we thank you, your word says you will multiply us. You will increase us. As we are returning with thanksgiving, oh God, I thank you for the massive salvations today. I thank you that our families are seeing the light. I thank you that our nation is changing. We bless your holy name. Lord, you want to say thank you that you have revived us. Our passion for souls has come alive. Our passion for forceful evangelism has come alive. We will no longer be complacent. We will no longer be complacent in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that none among us will be named barren. Anyone who has barren, O oh God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, as he rests upon us, we declare those fruitful. And those who have been fruitful, O oh God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we declare that they are a forest. Lord, we give you the praise. We give you the honor. You are marvelous, O oh God, in all your workings. You are mighty to deliver. Lord, we thank you that our graves have been opened. Graves of sickness and disease. Graves of slothfulness. Graves of postponing. Graves of, 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 of revenge. They have been opened and we are coming out today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rebe se te casa. Brade ke ke se kata. Robo bo se te re ke te siya. Iba rado ko sembeta. Iba baba so rende ke ke sende koto rota. Lord, you are wonderful in all your workings. You are mighty to deliver. Lord, we thank you that today is the third day. Today is the day of whomsoever, whoever who will take your word today, whoever who will believe your word today. Oh God, you are a master giver. You are a generous giver. You are the same God, oh God, who paid the man who came on the 11th hour 
The same with those who worked from the beginning. Lord, even today we declare those who are tuning in for the first time, may they receive what you have in store for them today. May they receive full payment today. May they receive full resurrection today. May they receive full deliverance today. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we give you the praise. We give you the honor. We thank you, Lord for a glorious conference that we had. You are God who hears and answers prayer. We thank you for the perfect weather, Lord. We give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. We are continuing. We are going to pray for our prophet, Apostle Vincent, <clears throat> the servant of God in our midst. Uh, he has been uh, ministering us towards the past two days, and today he's taking all the knives out. Hallelujah. Satan is destroyed today. So we're going to pray for him that uh, he will not withhold any weight that God has placed in, in his heart. We are going to pray for boldness, that he will speak boldly. We're going to pray for the increase of anointing, that he must operate in a way that he never operated. He must be shocked himself. But, ah, I never knew this. So we are going to pray for him. We are reading the following scriptures. Ezekiel 1 verse 1. Now it came to pass in the 30th year, in the fourth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I was among the captives by the river, river of Sheba, the heavens were open, and I saw visions of God. The word of the Lord came expressly unto Ezekiel the priest, the son of Busi, in the land of the Chaldeans, by the river Chiba, and the hand of the Lord was there upon him. You must understand, I love the scripture a lot, that Ezekiel was among the prisoners. Apostle, he's a man in a flesh like us. He might be also having his little prison, whatever that is holding him, but amidst the, the, the flesh, I miss that he's among, he's got the things that uh, keeps him awake at night. I miss that. The Holy Spirit, God is give, has given him visions. God has given him dreams. So don't take him as an ordinary man. He is among the, uh, the prisoners, but over and above, God has given him dreams and visions. His spirit of, the Spirit of God is upon him. So we'll be praying that Lord speak through his mouth because you have anointed him for us for this season. And we are reading also Ezekiel 2 verse 1. The word of God says, And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me, and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. So, while the word of God, while God was speaking with Ezekiel, the Holy Spirit rested upon him. So, we are going to pray that, Lord, while apostle is still speaking, may the Holy Spirit rest upon us. Remember the story of, 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 of Peter. He was still speaking to Cornelius and his family. And the Holy Spirit baptized the the, the, the Cornelius and his family, then he says, wow, God does whatever that he wants to do. He's not a respecter of persons because they thought the Holy Spirit was for the Jews. So we are going to say, Lord, as apostle, he's still speaking. May the Holy Spirit jump on us. May he speak mysteries to us. May he anoint us. May he release things upon our lives. So we are praying that as apostle will be preaching, may the Holy Spirit uh, rest upon him while he's still speaking. Uh, may he rest upon us. Isaiah 50 verse 4, the Lord God has given me the tongue of the learned. So we are praying that Holy Spirit give him the tongue of the learned, that he should speak, he should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. People are coming with different issues, people are logging in, through our different media platforms with different issues. So we are praying that as he speaks today, he must give grace, he must give strength to those who are weary. The word of God says, he wakened me morning by morning, he wakened my ear to hear as the learned. So we are going to pray our prayer point, reads as follows, we are praying for our apostle, and we are praying for us as well, that as he'll be preaching, we'll hear the weight. Father, thank you for your servant, Apostle Vincent, our prophet, thank you, Lord, for using him mightily to minister to us for the past two days. 
May the Spirit of the Lord continue to rest upon him in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Spirit of the living God continue to rest on him and may the heavens over him open as he continue to minister to the world today. Father, let your hand be upon him. Grant him utterance in the season to continue. Teach, uh, may he teach with power and great boldness, increase his anointing and ability to preach and to heal. We will be praying for him saying, we also pray that our ears will not be dull to hear our vision and will not dim to see. Uh, may we be transformed by your word. So that is why I was um, coming, the music that let me, when I put the prayer point, I'm putting it so that uh, you can remember, so that we can pray, we can pray in unison, in one accord. So now music can come as we are praying. We said, let me repeat quickly because he interrupted us with music. We are praying for Apostle Vincent. We're going to thank God for the, uh, that he's going to minister mightily. We are going to pray for him that may the heavens open over him uh, as he will be ministering. We are praying that may God give him the utterances. May he teach uh, uh, in season. That he, may God give him a uh, spirit to teach, a uh, great boldness. May he increase anointing. May he have the ability to preach and heal today. And Rona, us will be listening as the Holy Spirit will be jumping over us while we are listening. We will be praying that uh, may we be transformed. Let's pray. We will not be dull of the hearing. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for Apostle Vincent, the prophet in the house, this man that you have chosen us for the season. Lord, our hearts are full of thanksgiving. As he will be sharing your word, I pray for boldness upon him. Spirit of the living God, overshadow him. May he speak your mysteries, O God. I anoint him, O God. May he... Give, give, may you give him utterances, even the scriptures that he did not prepare. Lord, you know our deepest needs. Those who are tuning in, that old woman in a village somewhere who will be listening through a radio. Father God, I pray, may she receive her deliverance. May she receive her healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, you are the same God. While you st were still speaking to a... Uh, 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 Ezekiel, your spirit landed upon him. Lord, as he'll be speaking, as we'll be preaching, as we'll be preaching, may your Holy Spirit land upon us. For Lord, you are not a respecter of person. We we'll receive our deliverance today. Father God, I declare everyone who'll be locked in through social media platforms, all of us who are seated in the same. Uh, a, 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 a auditorium lord i pray we will not be dull of hearing we will not be familiar with your word i break every spirit of rebellion i destroy it in jesus name i break every spirit of familiarity with your word it will not be our portion lord we pray that our ears are ready to hear what you have in store for us in jesus mighty name amen we are continuing to pray for Apostle Vincent. We are praying for us. We are going to pray for signs and wonders to happen through him as he'll be sharing the word. We are reading the following scriptures. Isaiah 61 verse 1. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. The same spirit, the same scripture was upon Christ. Christ says, the Holy Spirit has anointed me. So if Christ needed the Holy Spirit, how much more apostle, how much more us? Mark 16 verse 17, this is, these are the last words of Jesus Christ to his church. Listen to what he said. These signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs and wonders. And Acts 2.43, and fear came upon every soul 
and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. So we are praying for the same grace this morning. Our prayer point reads as follows. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the seal of priesthood upon your servant be confirmed by mighty deeds and prophetic signs following your servant as will be ministering us today. We are going to pray and say, Lord, let the manifestation of notable wonders as the people will be watching through their TV, they will be watching through on their cell phone everywhere, listening over the radio, wherever they are. We pray for the anointing that breaks every yoke of bondage to flow from this altar, touching the lives of all participants. Remember, God says, my church cannot be measured. Bringing healing, deliverance, and restoration from all forms of oppression. So the Holy Spirit, you cannot shut him down. Remember, the, the doors were shut. They were afraid. Christ just came in. So we are saying, Holy Spirit, just gate crash. If there's a thing that is called gate crash, go gate crash every home. Go gate crash every home and heal and deliver and set free. This is what we are praying today. Max, uh, 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 and then we are saying, Lord, may every yoke of bondage flow, uh, be broken by the spirit that comes from this altar, uh, let us pray. We are praying for deliverance. We are praying for restoration. We are praying for, for healing. And all, whatever form of oppression, be physical, emotional, financial, today we declare that we are delivered. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to say thank you for confirming your word through your servant apostle this morning. As he'll be sharing, oh God, spirit of the living God, Spirit of power, spirit without measure, spirit that cannot be stopped. I pray, may you rush in to every home. May you rush in to every individual, everyone who will be sitting under the ministry of the sweat, listening over the radio. We break every oppression in Jesus' mighty name. Sickness and disease, you bow down this morning as the word comes forth. Spirit of the living God, heal. Spirit of the living God, deliver. Spirit of the living God, set free. Rabba, seteke, sata. Hebe, soto, reba, sikata. Lord, we pray for mental healing. Those who are depressed, oh God, through, due to the economic prevailing circumstances, today they are being set free. Every prison door of bondage, your children are set free. Those who are sick with coronavirus, today they are receiving their healing. Whatever form of sickness, oh God, be cancer, be HIV, any form of sickness, any sickness that has a name, today we declare that it bows down as your spirit rush in into our homes, as your spirit rush in everywhere. Lord, we thank you that we are your inheritance. Jacob cannot be bewitched, we cannot be divined. Any witchcraft that has been set, sent concerning our lives, it will not stand. It will not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Every curse sent concerning our lives or concerning this church, we break it. It will not stand. It will not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Rebe setaka, brade kekesenda. Lord, we thank you for the same spirit that rested upon our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that anointed him to do good, great, and good works. You, the same spirit is sitting upon apostle this morning. Anoint him to heal, O oh God. Anoint him to preach. Anoint him to teach. Lord, I thank you. Overshadow him with your Holy Spirit this morning. Brade kase bore taseta habrado kokosekeria. Spirit of revelation, rest upon him this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. Amen. We are going to pray for total repentance and lost souls. 
that people will, be, will receive Christ as their Lord and Savior. We are also going to pray for us as well, the believers, that we will not hide any sin, will not justify any sin, will not deny any sin. So we are praying that the Holy Spirit is going to bring massive repentance to those who do not know Christ in their life and Savior, and us who know Christ will be convicted to walk in righteousness. We are reading the following scriptures, Acts 2.37. Now, when they heard this, when Peter was preaching, they were pricked in their hearts. So we are praying for the same pricking that made the Holy Spirit prick us and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, eh, 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 men and brethren, what shall we do? The, the, the people asked Peter, what shall we do? Because they were pricked in their hearts. Eh, then Peter said unto them, repent, and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you and to your children, and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Then they gladly received his word, were baptized, and the same day they were added about them 3,000 souls. So we are going to pray for massive salvation. We are going to pray and say, Holy Spirit, you are the Lord of harvest. As people are here in the word, may they be added. Uh, we said uh, uh, we had uh, our number. Next week I will have our WhatsApp number where you, will, you should, uh, I think they can put it on the screen, where when you receive Christ and say, please, I've received Christ, what shall I do? Then we will attend to you. Uh, we have uh, 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 our WhatsApp number. That number you can even call if you don't want to WhatsApp. It's, a, it's both WhatsApp and, and phone call. We will tell you what to do next. And Hebrews 4 verse 5, that number that you, it's going to appear on the screen is the number that you use after you have received Christ as our Lord and Savior. And then we have Hebrews 4 verse 5. The Word of God says, And this place, and in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest, seeing therefore it remains that some must enter therein, and they whom it was first preached entered not because of unbelief. So we are going to come against spirits of unbelief that causes us not to enter the rest that the Lord has prepared for us. Again, he limited a, a certain day, saying in David, today, today, after so long a time, as it is said, Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. So it is not you who determines when to be born again. It is the Lord. And the Lord says, today, when you hear the word, it's your day of salvation. Don't say, I will think about it, I will, I'm still thinking. No, it's not you who determine when to be born again. The day you hear the word of God, today is your day. The word of God, it is today after so long a time, as it said, today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. So please, I'm begging you, don't lose the opportunity of receiving Christ today. Second uh, Thessalonians chapter 3, because today is your day. You may not have another day. You may not have another day. It's not you who determine when to be born again. God says today is your day. Second Thessalonians 3 verse 1, finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have a free course and be glorified even as it is with you. Here Paul is speaking about agency. A runner is the one who must, when he, a runner runs, he runs a free course. A runner cannot run with clothes like I'm wearing with shoes that I'm running. No. A runner needs free course. So Paul says this word needs a free course. This word needs to run very fast. Today, don't leave, leave, get out of the way. Allow this word to come into your hearts. He's speaking with agency. So we are praying and saying, Lord, today, may this word have a free course in our hearts. We will take off our hypocrisy. We will take off everything. This word must go with agency. We are praying for it. Let nothing, nothing, unbelief should never uh, uh, stop this word. Let's pray for massive salvation. Let's pray for the agency of the word. The prayer points are reading as follows. Father, today we pray for every lost soul to be saved today. Open the hearts of all worshipers to receive your word with gladness, leading regeneration and new birth. We pray that your people watch and listen. May your word prick them in their hearts 
and bring to total repentance and salvation. We come against the hardening of hearts in the name of Jesus. We pray that your word will have a free course, meaning this word will come with real agency and speed and transform every established Christians, bringing them to maturity and fruitfulness. Let's pray for the word of God and massive salvations today. That script, that, that um, telephone number of those who are receiving Christ as Lord and Savior should not come out until we finish with this prayer point. It must be on our screen. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before your throne of grace. We thank you, Lord, for the grace of salvation. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of eternal life. Lord Jesus, you did not die in vain. You say in your word you will see the travail of your soul and you will be satisfied. Lord, I pray that today is the day of salvation. Lord, I pray for massive salvation for all the women we invited who have locked in. Today they will not postpone in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone who will be listening through the radio, they will not postpone salvation for they will not have another day. Today is their day. Father God, I pray for spirit of agency to run through our family members, to run through our children, to run through our, our colleagues, to run through our neighbors. May they not take your word for granted for today is the day in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that the Holy Spirit continue to preach uh, our, our children, our fathers, our mothers, our neighbors, anyone who has tuned in, anyone who was flipping through Facebook and stumbled upon this page. Lord, I pray, may they receive your word, for they will not have another day in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, may your word have a free course in our hearts. Lord, may we not be stubborn. May we not be stubborn. I come against spirit of unbelief. I come against spirit of familiarity. It will not be our portion. Lord, I thank you for massive salvation. Rebe se teka, raba teke soto. O rebe bebe seta, rade kate sutara, hibrato kokosende. Lord, I thank you that your word is having a free course today. Your word is coming with strength. Your word is coming with power. Your word is coming with conviction. Open the eyes of understanding. Every scale of ignorance, oh God, may it be removed. Spirit of the living God that convicts men of sin, I pray, give us no rest. Give us no rest. Convict our families. Convict us. Convict our children. Convict and convert in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the great numbers of salvation that we are receiving today in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. I never frighten people about death. Never. But the Spirit of the Lord says today, it might be your last day. If you don't receive this word, you will not have an, another opportunity to receive again. So please, take it for serious. Uh, intercession number five, we are going to pray for the free flow of the Holy Spirit. We are not going to leave Satan alone. Hallelujah. We are not going to leave Satan alone. We are going to thank God for the beautiful conference there was no broadcast interruption so it was so seamless even the zoom from cape town everything went I, I i didn't know how it's gonna work really to be honest with you zoom somebody from cape town will be attending our conference will be speaking in our conference called zoom it was so flawless so we're going to thank God for that. And we're going to pray that today, Lord, what you've done for us since Friday, do it again. Hallelujah. He's a marvelous God. We are reading the following scriptures. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 9. Associate yourself, O you people, and you shall, bro you shall be broken in pieces. And give ear, all you far countries, get yourself. You shall be broken in pieces. Get yourself. You shall be broken in pieces. So we are, we are going to break every spirit that has associated to destabilize the service. God says nobody can associate. Nobody can come against the 
connive against my work. He says, I will build my church and no gates of hell shall prevail. So we are praying, we are binding Satan. The word of God says, take counsel together, it shall not come to naught. Speak the word, it shall not stand. Why? For God is with us. So every negative word, every case that have been said concerning this church, every utterance of the witches or whatever, or wishes, today we nullify them void. And then uh, we are reading uh, Isaiah 49 verse 25. But that says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contendeth with thee, and I will save thy children. So God says, I will contend with those who contend with you, and your children shall be saved. And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood, and as with sweet wine. And the, the, the flesh shall know that I am the Lord, and all flesh shall know that I am the Lord, your Savior, the Redeemer of Israel. Our prayer point reads as follows, Father, thank you for the free flow of our broadcast since the beginning of the conference. We continue to pray and bind all spiritual forces of wickedness that, they may, try, that may try to stand against the success of our service today. We rebuke, I love this line, we rebuke, we overturn, we revoke every judgment. So you must re remember to rebuke, to overturn, to e revoke every judgment against Satan we, uh, that he has concerning his church. We subdue every argument. Today, Satan, we, we subdue him. We subdue every argument in the spirit that stands against this knowledge of God. We decree null and void all works of darkness against the church and her people. How do we subdue him? We subdue him by the power of the blood of Jesus. We say there is no, the word of God, Eri, through the blood of redemption, our sins have been forgiven. So we subdue. So if Satan had any argument against you or me today, by the blood of the Lamb, I'm as white as this. If you knew me yesterday or five minutes with a son, as I stand, I'm white as this because of the blood of the Lamb. So we're going to subdue him. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to say thank you for the grace that of the blood of Jesus. Lord, we want to say thank you for the successful conference, for seamless broadcasting, for the members who tuned in, those who listened through the uh, FCC platform, those who receive uh, WhatsApp messages or whatsoever. We want to say thank you, Lord. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. Today, Lord, you also declare that uh, it will be like it was yesterday. There will be free flow of your power. Uh, the radio will be, uh, will be nice and clear. Our mics will be nice and clear. No interruption. Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. Any accusation, any argument that you have leveled against us, this morning we plead the blood of Jesus, the blood of redemption, the blood of forgiveness, that let no sin stand before us because we have been forgiven. Lord, we pray for the blood of cleansing that we will continue to be in fellowship with one another. Today, Lord, we declare the blood of sanctification that we have been set apart for your purpose. And we declare the blood of justification that any argument that Satan is having concerning Apostle Vincent, that is having concerning Emmanuel Christian Church, that is having concerning my life, any argument by the blood of justification this morning, we kneel it to the, blood, to, to the cross and we take our authority to subdue Satan. We revoke all the things that he set aside for the service. We rebuke you, Satan. We overturn all your schemes in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise, O God, contend with those who contend with us, and may our children be saved in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for a wonderful service today. In Jesus' name, amen. I, I'm starting to master my time now. Today, I ma managed to do prayer number six. I have never managed. So, to God be the glory. We are reading. We are going to thank God for the offerings. Uh, when people were pricked in their hearts, Peter says, repent. So our financial freedom comes through repentance, obedience, then we financially prosper. 
So I want to thank God. There have been women, men, they have given through our church. They have given throughout this conference. We are going to pray and say, Lord, bless them mightily. And those who have not partook of this uh, uh, grace, there's no way that you are going to prosper without repentance. The other time I spoke, I said, you cannot say, Lord, when you are going to Polokwane, Polokwane is in the north and Cape Town is in the uh, uh, south. And say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you I'm going to the north. I, 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 I'm passing uh, Midrand. And when you are driving there, Lord, I thank you who, uh, when I pass through uh, 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 Bloemfontein, Lord, I, I'm going to stop at uh, what, what at the place. When you are driving towards the north, you will never see Bloemfontein. You will not. What you must do, you repent. You turn from blue, from Kukuku, what do you call it? The beautiful roads. We've got networks of roads. You turn, you realize what about there. Why do I see Zanin? I can't see Bloemfontein when I see Zanin. You turn, you go. So those who have not uh, repented by tithing and offerings, today you turn. You turn from uh, eating the tithe. You turn from being greedy by not offering. You say, Lord, I want to join the women and the men who's been st- uh, doing this work. So we are praying for massive offering and repentance. And we are saying, Luke 638, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Men shall give to your, your, your bosom. So we are going to pray for generous giving. Proverbs 11:24 says, he that scattereth, yet he increases, and that who withholds more than meat, it tendeth to poverty. I love it, Gaspedi. Iri, oh, ngamela, how ngamela, forget it. <laughs> Iri, he that scattereth, he increases, and he who gives, more is coming. And Malachi 3, verse 10, this one stands, bring all your tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, and prove me now, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open windows of heaven, pour out your blessing, and then there shall be no room to contain it. Our prayer point is saying, Lord, we thank you for all the offerings received since the beginning of this conference. The women were very generous. If I can tell you how much they gave, you say, oh, they were very generous. Father, we continue to open the hearts of all ECC members and every participant to give generously today. Lord, we bless every family that gives and ministers to their needs this season. There are people that have been obeying God. We are going to say, Lord, those who have repented and obeyed, Lord, may they, may they receive their financial breakthrough. Let none of the families be destitute and poor after this pandemic in Jesus' name. We decree financial breakthrough and all f- upon all our faithful tithers in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to say thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We thank you, Lord, for the generous giving of your children throughout this conference. Today, O oh God, we will not withhold our seats again. Today, we will be generous in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone, O oh God, who is a broadcast, who, who will be tuning in, through our different platforms. Today, O oh God, bless them mightily as they obey your word in the mighty name of Jesus. O oh God, there is nothing too hard for you. Father God, remember the sacrifices of your children, their faithful obedience. They have obeyed you till the end. Father God, I pray, may you bless them mightily in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, because they have repented, they have obeyed you, may they experience their financial freedom. Lord, I pray that their children will not be destitute. Those who've been faithful in their tithes of God, you say, Abraham tithe and Levi was blessed. Lord, I pray that their children to the fourth generation will experience your blessing because of their faithful fathers who have stood in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we want to say thank you that every prayer point that has been uttered, you have heard, you have answered it in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we give you the praise. Amen. We are going to welcome uh, our music group and we'll be welcoming Pelly FM. Uh, I just want to encourage our music leader. Please, before you start singing, welcome Pelly FM again. They are our faithful people. To God be the glory. Well, may you welcome them before you sing. Amen.
happening in our different platforms. We welcome Pedi FM. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let us give God a hand of praise.
can we give a clap offering to Jesus? We well, thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We are grateful, Father, that you are in the midst and in the presence of your people. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Happy Women's Day to all our mothers and women in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Please do take your seat for all the listeners across the world. We say Happy Women's Day. In South Africa, it's Women's Day. We are grateful for this weekend. We hope you have enjoyed. I've received quite a lot of accolades for the great uh, program that we have had. In the limitations that we have. So we give thanks to the Lord that even though we can't meet physically, there are so many platforms that are broadcasting at the same time. And we will encourage you to always communicate so that we continue to pray for you. May the Lord bless you. As always, I have uh, prepared uh, some scriptures for us to continue to pray for you. Uh, 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 campus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Without any taking of time, we are going to share the word of God. It's a Women's Day today. And uh, we give thanks for all the efforts that women has done for us. And for an African, a person of African descent or a person of color. There is a lot of hindrances or blockages. Here in South Africa, women have been oppressed forever from as long as we know. And sometimes because of the empowerment of women, it's like men are neglected. But it is said, no, it is said that uh, when you teach a woman, you empower the whole nation. If you teach a man, you teach an individual. And I think in many occasions, all of us are raised by mothers, women who have made effort to make sure that we become better persons as we are. And we want to celebrate the mothers. We want to celebrate the women. And we want to lift up the girl child. That it is proper for us to reconsider our past that women have been discriminated so intensely and therefore it is upon us to empower and enable our women to move forward human abuse cannot be tolerated our neighborhood we should never allow children to be abused we should never allow women girl children to be abused and as well the, the illicit uh, use of relationships by men where the lives of girl children are destroyed by sugar daddies so I want to encourage and challenge all of us that let us build a society that is balanced, that is strong, that is able. We should not go to the extreme when we empower women. We need to empower everybody. But being aware that specifically an African woman has been the one on the receiving end. Women of color. 
Here in South Africa, we are classified. So women have been discriminated. Women have been pushed aside. They have been disregarded. But not in our churches. In our churches, we recognize the grace of God upon women. That Jesus was born through a woman. That we were born through women. That there are a lot of single households that are led by women. And they continue to do the best they can under the circumstances. And so we celebrate women across the world. Can we give a offering to the Lord for women? I want to challenge you today that you should take it upon yourself to represent humanity well. To represent ourselves well. The subtitle for the message we are teaching on Genesis. The, the strength and the power of a godly woman. Women have achieved and done much. I want today to focus on one woman we started on Friday. The Bible tells us about a prophetess called Deborah. That when men were afraid, when men were unable, when men failed, like men are failing in the, our situation, where men fail to support their own children, they are unable to pay maintenance for their children. Women rise, have risen to take the responsibility. So Deborah was one of the prophetess in Israel. She was a woman in time of crisis. She was the great in time of difficulty. She assisted the nation to move forward. And I want to encourage all the women who are listening this morning. God is on your side. God is with you. God will empower you and your children. God will help you to build your household. The English say it takes two to tango. It takes two to tango. Women, Women need to be aware that as well they need to respect others. In their ability to progress, we don't destroy the systems. Degrade and nullify others. We need to create an environment of movement upon the foundation that is sure in the name of Jesus. I want us to go to the book of Judges, chapter 5. Chapter 5. There is a song in Judges chapter 5. Deborah is singing a song. There's, there's a war, Israel is under siege. Israel is oppressed. Life is not working. Like in our time now, things are not working. Things are not moving as they are supposed. Things are not as normal as they are supposed. Deborah had a young, young uh, uh, general that he trusted. He's called Barak. And he prophesied that Barak, you must arise and go to battle. Are prophet are Barak and Barak took the word that the woman spoke. I pray this morning that as a husband, as a man, you will be able to listen 
to the voice of women when they speak. Amen. Viale ka motho wa monna re rapela re o kwe ga motho wa masadi a bolela. Barak listen to cancel. Barak a tiele za kele to ya di bor. Most of us men fail to take counsel even from our own wives. Re na batho ba na re palela ke o kwa le botlhalo tsa ba le basadi mbareng. We fail so dismally yet wisdom is resident. Re palela ga golo le ga e botlhale bo le gona ka molapeng. You have a woman who strong able to do more. O na le mosadi o a o thusha gore o tswela pele ga golo. So she wrote this poem. O se ke wa She wrote this song. Oh, abe amala pina e. And I'm going to read it for you. The book of Judges chapter 5 verse 1 to 7. Mo bo kenya ba 25 re ba la motimaneng ya 1 of Kiabo 7. I was going to recite it but I want uh, Pastor Ed to to follow as well. So mo ruti ya ka sekai o pela re tla e bolela ga botse re re gona e latela re ikwishisha. The Bible says the song of Deborah. E re pina ya Deborah. Then Deborah and Barak the son of Abim Naum sang on the day saying Dibora ana le Barak bona ba thoma ba yopela When leaders lead in Israel ge ba eta pele ba eta pele mo Israel When the when the people willingly offer themselves ge ba thoka bo bona ba iniela Bless the Lord Modimo a se go faka Here O kings e kwa bona khoshi Give ear O princesses Here let the land of khoshi gadi I I even I sing to the Lord. I will sing praises to the Lord God of Israel. Lord, when you went out from Seir When you march from the fields of Edom the earth trembled the heavens poured out the cloud also poured water the mountain gushed before the lord the sinai before the lord god of israel In the days of Shama the son of Ar- Anath Kanako ya shana ka murawa Anath In the days of Jael The highways were deserted. And the travelers walked along the byways. Village life ceased. It ceased. in Israel yeah emma mo israel until i who fitlana dibora dibora arose kesoga i want to say to all the women ratar mo batho ka moka wa arise your time has come emma na ka ha we fitlile the government is failing Musho wa palelo. The men are failing. Bana ba palelo. Women arise. Mosadi ema. Women arise. Mosadi ema. Because when the women fail to arise. Kabagala re mosadi a palela ko ema. We are told that in 1957 the women arose. The women of South Africa took it upon themselves that rubbish we will not take. Re a o kwa gore ka 1957 ba sadi ba satatwe ka ba re re lapile ya ba bona ba ba emang He says until I dibora a re ho bitlala na dibora a rose ke ema a rose a mother in Israel ka tsoa hona mo sa Israel a luta continua ntwa yona ya tshela pele the woman needs to know mo sadi o tsone ke a tsebe you don't give people responsibility and they don't account for it ga o fe batho ma ikarabelo ba ke ba dira se ba gopetseng you we cannot continue to allow things to spoil while we are around re ka se dimele dilo di senye ga re le gona dibora was a great prophetess I believe personally that women are extremely spiritual. And when Deborah spoke to Barak. And he said to Barak, you are going to go to war, you are going to win, God is going to give you victory. I want to say to women, use your mouth to build than to destroy. Most women they will reduce their husband their children and everybody around them with their own mouth batho ba sadi ba ntlontlolla batho ba banna le bana ba bona ka molomo wa bona they will speak things they don't desire and we learn that when you speak 
things come to pass. If you say your husband Kistaela is a fool, listen, you are going to get a foolish husband. Simaumau will simaumau your life. <laughs> a fool will fool your life. Simaumau will deal with you. Some women when they talk to their children specifically boy, boy children they will say you are as hard you are, you are a wood cop a wood cop is a, is a head made out of wood uh, for those who, who are not South Africans is a head made with wood they will say you are just like your father with a wooden head they will say you are stupid like your daddy it's not surprising that your husband has become a fool you build with wisdom and understanding. The said to Barak, you are going to win. Tell your husband, the times are not good. But since you, you managed to marry me, I know we will break through. I know we will succeed. I know this season will come and it will pass. Speak life within your environment. Declare things that are not as though they are. Call upon the name of the Lord. Encourage your husband who's going through difficulties. This woman said to Barak, Barak said, I will need your help. Most men, women, listen, most men need help. Barak says, I will need help. Barak was afraid. Women, most men are afraid. I said, most men are afraid. They need somebody to stand with them. Become the deborah in their life. Become the strength, the pillar in their life. Tell your husband, this war, we will win it together. And when when Barak said, I'm afraid, the Bora said, you should know that your glory will be taken by a woman. Listen, we have had powerful women in South Africa. We have powerful women in South Africa. My mother was a powerful woman. I think your mother is a powerful woman. Have faith that your wife will take you through as a man. Barak said, I need help. I'm afraid. Deborah said, I will go with you. I pray that all women will take that stand. I will go with you, my husband. I will go with you, my son. I will stand with you. Most women fail to stand with their own husbands. Let them just have money. Let things just be better on their side. They will tell you how foolish you are. When they leave, they'll tell you to help Rotobaba. Leave, leave the bread. Don't touch the bread. They forget that the house the man built it when he was working. So the Deborah said, I'm going with you. The book of uh, Judges 4 verse 4. Deborah identified and so, so Barak. The word Deborah means honeybee. Honeybee. It means honeybee. Yes, the word every woman should be a Deborah. You, you should be sweet. Woman, be sweet. There's no amen even here in the church. I say, woman, 
be sweet. When you see the honeybee, the African honeybee, are dangerous. They will kill you. They sting very badly. So we know that the, the African woman can sting. Please don't sting us in the time of difficulty. Don't, don't reduce us. But the other meaning of the word Deborah means spirited woman. Spirited, full of life. May every woman be full of life. Amen. May your past not hold you and make you a prisoner in the name of Jesus. May you be so spirited that your children will be great in the land in the name of Jesus. Amen. We say Deborah was spirited. He was active. She was busy. She was a prophetess. She was community involved. She was making things to happen. She believed in others. May you believe in others. South African women. African women. Women across the world. Learn to support each other. Learn to empower each other. So the prophetess. She worked tirelessly. And so from 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 from, from Deborah. We learned that Deborah, God can use women. Listen, in, in Emmanuel Christian Church, I don't know, I think we might have more women pastors than male pastors if we are to use that discrimination or distinction. It makes sense. Because women are spirited. Women are easy to respond. Women are strong. Women don't give up easy. I want to say in the day, Women's Day. Don't give up on your children. Don't give up on your husband. Don't give up on the community. You are strong and well able. We learn from the scriptures that because of Deborah, and not only Deborah, when men fail, God uses women. God designed and purposed that women should fulfill his mission and become a blessing to nations. In the book of Judges 4, 9, the Bible says, so she said, I will surely go with you. Nevertheless, there will be a glory, glory, there will be no glory for you. For in the journey you are taking, the Lord will, will give a woman the glory. And the Bible says, and Deborah arose. Woman, there is a glory for you. I said there is glory for you. In South Africa, we have got a lot of women who have done great, splendid work. Who fought the evil government while their husbands were in jail. We know of our mother, uh, Mary, the, the, the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ. The book of Genesis chapter 3 verse 15. Even though Eve failed God. But God gave Eve the responsibility to destroy the power of Satan. Woman, you have the power to destroy evil. 
You have the capacity to bring good. That in the midst of the wrongs you have done, you are well able. Never allow your past, your failures to limit what God can do through your life. Divorce must never make you to be afraid to serve God. Having children out of wedlock should not make you to be afraid to serve God. Your inability to give birth should not make you to be afraid to serve God. Your spectacular failures should not make you to retreat. Listen to what God said in the book of Genesis chapter 3 verse 15. He says, and I will put enmity between you and the woman. Speaking to Satan. And, and between your seed and her seed he will bruise your head he will bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel women you are crushing the head of the serpent in the name of Jesus. The problems you have in your house, you can solve if you want to. It takes a higher temperament. Women has a higher temperament than most men. The Bible says, and Deborah, a mother in Israel, arose. Deborah, she is the embodiment of great strength. Women are the embodiment of a great strength. They are the embodiment of great courage of motherliness. Deborah was fearless. She was unwavering. She believed in the call of God upon her life. Women, I know you are fearless. We say a woman is so bold that she can help a lion to give birth. That's a woman for you. The, if, if we were to go into each and every experience of every woman here, hey, you'll be shocked. Women go through things. We give thanks for makeup. Whosoever came with makeup has helped us. <laughs> you can't even see if a woman is down. She picks herself up. And she looks good every time. She was fearless. Deborah, Deborah was a towering figure of hope. Women in South Africa are a towering figure of hope. Even though she was this powerful, the Bible says she had a husband, she was submitted. She was powerful, yet humble. She was wise as a dove. She, she was wise as a serpent. But humble as a dove. I pray that you will not be like a careless woman. The one who shouts at her husband in the company of others. I pray today that you will have a towering stature of Deborah. But she was humble. The power of God was upon her life. She recognized the election of God. One powerful thing about women. They know how to honor authority. That's why we say women 
are like, they are, they are value. The value of a great, a righteous woman is worth ten sons. She's worth ten sons. She can do much more than most men can do. When God spoke to her, she didn't see the opportunity, I'm going to go to war. No, she called, says, Barak, the Lord has spoken. Please arise, go in this strength of yours. God will give you victory. We see in the life of, of, of this woman, the prophetess Deborah, she was wise and God-fearing. She built her house. I want to talk to all the women. Be wise and build your house. Be wise and build your house. When everything has settled, you still have to come home. Proverbs 14 verse 1 and 2 The Bible says the wise woman builds a house But the foolish one Pulls it down With her own hands A foolish woman Destroys her own home She's stubborn Lacks understanding, tries to come into the same pace as possibly her spouse. Women have a, a totally different temperament. I wonder where will I be without my mother? I wonder where will I be without my wife? She always speaks. We don't agree every time. But when I'm alone, I know she has spoken the right thing. When you are wise, you listen to your wife. When you are wise, you listen to your woman. A foolish man will destroy her own house by fighting her own wife. A wise woman builds her own house. A God-fearing woman is a great homemaker. Proverbs 24 verse 3. Through wisdom, a house is built. And by understanding, it is established. By knowledge, the rooms are filled. Listen, a house of a man and a house of a woman, where the woman is, you can see the difference. Some men, without a woman, they will not wash every day. There are few men that are here, if we were to check, we realize that they just wipe their face. That's it. Even the petroleum jelly, they will not put it on their skin. No, 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 no. May the Lord have mercy upon men. You have to understand that a great husband is the one who uh, uh, recognizes the skills and the special attributes in his wife. Listen, if you ignore the woman in your life, <laughs> you will be poor the rest of your life. You will have, you know, we usually say the, the failure, the difficulty of an African man is that immediately he's got one rent more, he wants another girl. You should just look around. Anyone who's going to play around, you start to realize this one is busy destroying his house. But the Bible says a wise woman is able to build her house. I want to continue and say to you, it is official. The heavens have approved it. 
Women and daughters will inherit from the Lord and they should inherit from their fathers. I want to speak to any man who's listening today. Never make the mistake of discriminating against your daughters. The Bible has spoken in more than one occasion that women are entitled to inherit. Here in Emmanuel Christian Church, daughters inherit. I said daughters inherit. Daughters inherit. When you grow old, you realize how important to have a daughter. Because your boys child will not come home when you are sick. They will not care for you. They will not come home. They will be at their in-law's place. <laughs> taking care of their mother-in-law. So if you are a good father, if you are a good husband, raise the daughters for yourself because when you are really in need in your old age they are the ones who will come and, and take care of you it's, it's true ask me it's true the book of John's, uh, the book of Joshua 17 verse 4 Joshua 17 verse 4 we are talking about the inheritances for women the Bible says, but Zeloped, the son of Hepa, the son, uh, the son of Gilead, the man of Mesha, the son of Manasseh, had no sons. But only daughters. And their names, the names of the daughters, they came near before Eliezer, the priest, before Joshua, the son of Nun, before the rulers, saying, the Lord commanded Moses to give us an inheritance among our brothers. May you inherit in the name of Jesus. Women are entitled to get land as well. May you inherit your land in the name of Jesus. May you be given a portion for yourself in the name of Jesus. May you prosper with the inheritance that is given to you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says these daughters were given inheritance among their brothers. The book of Job 42 verse 15 it says in all the land were found no woman so beautiful as the daughters of Job. And their fathers gave their father gave an inheritance among their brothers. That's why I say daughters, they are worth ten sons. I can talk about Emmanuel Christian Church worldwide. Women are the pillars of this ministry. The women have made the work of God easy. The book of Luke chapter, chapter 8 from verse 1 to verse 3 the Bible tells us about, about the women who took care of Jesus. They were there, they used their substance to make sure that the ministry of Jesus will not miscarry. In Emmanuel Christian Church, we have powerful men, but we have more powerful women. 
Very strong. Who know the call of God upon their life. Who are able to stand with me. It is supernaturally, it's, it's by supernatural design that daughters have spiritual inheritance that they can serve and prophesy. Any man of God who discriminate against woman, he has killed himself. The church works more efficiently and powerfully when women are given their place in the ministry. Acts chapter 21, verse 8 and 9. On the next day, we who were with Paul's companions, we, we departed and came to Caesarea and enters the house of Philip the evangelist who was one of the seven and stayed with him. Now this man Philip had four virgin daughters who prophesied. Did you hear what I said? Women you have a gift of God upon your life. You can work and do the ministry in the name of Jesus. The Bible says Philip the evangelist had daughters who were pure, who were prophetess, who prophesied. The book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 28. It was prophesied. It says, it shall come to pass that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters. I said, your sons and your daughters. Woman, arise. The grace of the Lord is upon you. The power of God is upon you. You can participate effectively in the ministry, in government. Nobody needs to do you a favor. You don't need to have sexual favors to be promoted. I said you don't have to sleep around. You are well competent. Don't disqualify yourself. Don't disqualify yourself. Don't allow yourself to be reduced to a sex symbol. A pleasure for a man. A pleasure for a man. You are more important. You are far above rubies. You are important and able to succeed. You don't necessarily need a man to progress in life. You can build your own house. You can have your own car. You can build your own career. You can be an activist in your own right. The same spirit of God. The same grace is upon your life. Women arise. The the government is failing. The pain about it is that women will agree with the men that are spoiling things. They spoil together with the men. I say women are capable. You can be a president. You can be a manager. You can have your own business. You can do great exploits. There is no limit to your potential. May the Lord's favor come upon your life. That Satan has intended for years to suppress women. Because the promise in the book of Genesis chapter 3. 
He said, the seed of the woman will crush the head of the serpent. If women could stand, we will have a good government. I said, if the woman can stand, we will have a good government. Refuse to be made to believe that men are doing you a favor. You are well able. May the Lord be with you. For those who are at home, we are going to have communion. So I'll ask of you, have your communion close by. You can have bread or even a glass of water if you don't have the wine, communion wine. We will, we will do our communion. I'm going to make some declarations and then we're going to take prayer. Then we'll have communion. Then we'll take our offerings. There is hope in your future says the Lord. Jeremiah 31 verse 17. You may have gone through fire and been weary or wondering if you meant you were meant for each other. I am saying to you the Lord is with you. God's blessing and favor is upon you. May God convert all your past failures to an unlimited victories in the name of Jesus. I said, may the Lord Lord convert all your past failures to unlimited victories in the name of Jesus. May the Lord increase your greatness and comfort you in every area of your life. May the Lord advertise you by making you to achieve great dumbfounding things. May you receive prosperity beyond measure. May the Lord bring honey out of the rock for you. May every stone of barrenness in your marriage in your life, be rolled away in the name of Jesus. May you never go round in your life. May you make progress in every way. May God create the room for you, the room for advancement. In the name of Jesus. May every case of profitless labor Be broken in the name of Jesus. May you see the goodness of the Lord. In your life. May you see the goodness of the Lord. In the land of the land of the living. In Jesus name. We read the book of James chapter 4 verse 14. We said what is your life? Your life is like a vapor. That appears for a moment. And after that, it disappears. I want us to pray. The Bible says, What will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? I pray this morning that you will not lose your soul, that you will not lose your life. I'm going to lead in prayer. I'll ask of you to follow me as I lead. So that you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. He said, call unto me. All you who are heavy laden. He says, my yoke is easy. My burden is light. Can you say, Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I receive Jesus, I receive Jesus as my Lord, as my Lord, and my Savior, and my Savior. Lord, forgive me, Lord, forgive me, all my sins, all my sins. With my mouth, with my mouth, I speak, I speak. With my heart, with my heart, I believe, I believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. That Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, forgive me, Lord, forgive me. Cleanse me, cleanse me from all unrighteousness. From all unrighteousness. Your word says, your word says, if I pray this prayer. I will be saved. I will be saved.
Que nous sommes Morena Jesso. Morena Jesso. Que a Juamuhela. Que a Juamuhela. Via le Cameroun à l'Emopulosi. Via le Cameroun à l'Emopulosi. Camulo Moki Abua. Camulo Moki Abua. Capelo qui a du mel. Capelo qui a du mel. Horo Oromesi qui m'a dit moi. Horo Oromesi qui m'a dit. Horo Ntsoeti. 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 The Bible says when you pray this prayer, you will be saved. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to have communion. All the people on radio, since you can't see me, I'll say take your bread. The bread is a symbol of the body of Jesus. The Bible says the body of Jesus brought us healing. So if you are sick in your body, know today that healing has come upon your life. Whatever piece of bread you have, can you take it as you eat it? We are eating the bread. Father, we thank you for this bread. We receive it with thanksgiving. We receive healing and restoration in Jesus' name. Can we eat the bread together? The Bible says the same night, he took the cup which is the wine when you might be having a glass of water it's still fine the Bible says that same night it says this is the blood that was shed for your sin I want you to know today that there is now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus you are free in Jesus name may eternal life come upon your life may all things work together for your good we break the power of sickness and disease we come against COVID-19 and its effects in the name of Jesus Father we thank you for the communion in Jesus name can you we drink together hallelujah Amen. may the Lord bless you Amen. May his face shine upon you. May the Lord give you peace. We are going to receive our offerings and our tithes. I am left with two minutes on the radio. Uh, for all those of our members who are listening through radio, you know where to send your money. We are going to pray as well that God will bless you. And for all those that are watching through the different platforms, our offering, we have a snap scan, it will appear in our bank details. Anyone overseas, there is a bank account, you know it. If you are not sure, you can send us an inbox, we will send you the particulars. I'm going to pray for the tithes an offering and if you have your tithe here in the building you are welcome to come as we pray we are praying father in the name of Jesus we thank you today for the offerings that we are giving we thank you for this service we thank you for the selflessness of the life of your people I thank you Lord for all those who listen through radio and through the different platforms we pray today Father, as we receive the tithes your word says, Lord, in the book of uh, Hebrews chapter 7, that here on earth, mortal men, men who die, receive tithes. But there in heaven, it is the Lord who receives it. The book of Acts chapter 10, it says, while Father uh, 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 Cornelius was praying, Father, your word says, you said your offerings, have, uh, your prayers and offerings have become a memorial before God. We lift up the offerings, we, we lift up the tithes, the givings of your people. We pray, Father, for your blessing upon their life. We lift them up before you, Father, even this morning, in the name of Jesus, that, Lord, may you bless them. You promised in your word you will stop the devourer for their sake. Even today we stop the devourer for their sake, that their business will prosper, that they will find jobs in time when people say there is no progress. According to the book of Genesis 26, your word says, Lord, Rehoboth, you have made room for us. I declare a room upon each and every person that, Lord, they will prosper even this time. In the name of Jesus, we receive this tithes and offering in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. 
May the Lord give you peace in Jesus' name. And everybody said, can we give a powerful clap offering as we receive our tithes and offering this morning? We give thanks to the Lord for his faithfulness, for his love. We thank you, Father, for your people. We pray that God will bless you. We have prayed for healing and restoration. Amen. So I want us to come again. We're still going to take prayer. Put your hand wherever it's painful. We are going to pray for chilling. We are going to come against COVID-19. We are going to pray for economic breakthrough. Upon our own life. I hope you have put your hand wherever it's necessary. I'm praying. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you today that by your stripes we have been healed. We receive healing on behalf of many who have put out of faith their hand wherever it is painful we come against COVID-19 we come against HIV and AIDS we come against high blood pressure we come against uh, arthritis we come against sugar diabetes we come against back pain we come against nerve and skin problems we pray father for chronic cancer we break the strength and the power of any known sickness and disease we declare the healing and the restoration of God from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet. We declare the word of the Lord that economically, Father, as people are shedding their jobs, I pray, Father, for divine help and assistance. Your word says, and Isaac went back and dug the wells that his father has owned before. And Lord, your word says, you gave him progress. He succeeded. And Lord, he came to a place where he called it Rehoboth. We declare Rehoboth's moment upon the life of each and every one that have put their hand. That Father, you will prosper them. That Lord, you will open new doors, new opportunities. That we will declare, had it not been for the Lord. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness in Jesus' name. For healing, for restoration, and for your goodness. We thank you, Father, for this in Jesus' name. Amen. And the church said, thank you so very much. We give thanks for the women's conference. Women have really been so good. I pray that uh, I should not close the service. I should ask Pastor Kay to come so that she close it. Or should I close it? Uh, she says, no, I can close it because it's Women's Day. I know in some places they say a woman must preach. But in our church, uh, they, it's slightly different. Women preach every day. Uh, <laughs> praise the Lord so in our church uh, I'm the father I'm the one who speaks blessing and I pray that God will bless all of our women may you never be barren in your life in the name of Jesus may you never lack companionship in the name of Jesus may you never lack support in the name of Jesus may you break through in all the efforts that you put in in the name of Jesus May you grow to be old enough to take care of all your children and your great-grandchildren in the name of Jesus. May you be celebrated while you are alive. May they never celebrate you when you are dead. May they bring all the good and wonderful things. And may this day be a memorial before you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray this blessing upon our young girls. That, Lord, they will be married. That they will find perfect suitors. Men who fear God, men who care, men who can support, men who have a big and a powerful heart, men who will not be intimidated by the success and the breakthrough of their own wives. Lord, we pray that may the men develop the attitude of Abraham, who said Sarah was his sister. That Lord, he will care and extend himself. We thank you, Father, for this. In the name of Jesus, we pray. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May the Lord give you peace. Can we take our benediction together? Can we stand, those who are here in church, can we take grace together? One to go. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen 
Our prayers continue tomorrow in the morning, 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock, we have morning prayer, and in the evening, we still have prayer from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. South African time, Central African time. Thank you again. Shalom.